one of the biggest things that I've learned, and I'm still learning because I'm not, I'm not that great at it, but I'm, I'm, I'm really practicing, is communication. Communication in life as well as business. I did a short video on this the other day, but I want to kind of expand on it um, just to really put an explanation point mm, mm, on the importance of it, right? So we're talking about communication. Here's the thing. Early and often. Now, what does that mean? Um, opportunity, something happened, something broke, uh, team, you got to communicate early and often. So now here's what happens when you don't. Right. This this represents the beginning. Meaning when you should have communicated something. So watch this. We were on a call doing a, a, a training call with a company the other day and uh, we did a little bit of role play. And one of the role plays was um, I had the owner of the company do a role play with her executive assistant. And I said, there's a document that has to get out. It's got to get done immediately. Boom, 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 boom. And so she said it to the executive assistant and she did real fast, said it very high level, didn't give the assistant a whole lot of information and the communication just broke down. So then I asked the uh, assistant, I said, what was that enough information for you? And she had this smile on her face and she was like, no, that definitely wasn't enough information. And I said, what more information do you need? And she kind of just went down and said, these are more of the things that I need to know. While, while she was doing that, I'm looking at the business owner and the business owner got this look on her face like, oh my God, that's just too much. I got too much other stuff to do. Now I get that because I'm the same way. We got so much stuff to do that I ain't got time to be giving you all this information. However, it needs to happen because if I don't communicate or you don't communicate effectively and efficiently, we're liable to make, I'm gonna do it like this, I'm gonna put it right here, unforced errors. Unforced errors mean they could have been prevented, right? And so what happened was the assistant said, look, this is what I need to know, but while I know the owner of the company doesn't really have time for the back and forth with the email, let me just pick up the phone. And then they were able to kind of talk through what it is that the owner needed and the assistant was able to get what she wanted. Now, in the past, before we did that training, what would have happened was the owner would have told the assistant what they needed the assistant would not have communicated at the beginning of the request. And here's what would normally happen in that instance. This is the beginning of when you should communicate. This is when you do communicate. All of this is the gap. Now, there are a lot of things that happen inside the gap, right? Inside the gap of no communication, there is a misunderstandings happen, right? Uh, it can be perceived as low performance in the gap. Uh, what, what else happens in the gap? People get fired in the gap, right? Uh, relationships get broken up in the gap. People die in the gap. All because you waited before you communicated. Because it didn't feel good. You were uncomfortable. And it just wasn't, you don't like to have the difficult conversations. I got this little quote that I use and it's called, don't let the way you feel affect the way you flow. That's not just in business like, or you train in the workout. You might not feel like you're ready to have the difficult conversation, but when you feel like doing it and when you actually, when you actually do it, it's really irrelevant. It's gotta come up off of you. And it's about making sure that the team, whether it's in your, your marriage, your relationship with your kids or in your business, it's about the team. So you can't let the way you feel affect the way you flow. So I'm saying this to everybody, close the gap. And when you close the gap, that means 
that won't happen, that won't happen, that won't happen, that won't happen, that can't happen. It makes it much more difficult for any of these things to happen in the gap. Build communication regardless of the way you feel. Y'all have a great grand day. We'll talk soon.